everybody. It's your boy Fragrance Journey and Future Journey. Today we're going to be speaking about one of my favorite lines and one of the best people I've met in the fragrance community. One of the realest dudes I've met in the fragrance community. And Future Journey can speak on that because he actually sat down and George spoke with him, talked to him, listened to like all of his like... That was when I was still working on Pet For You. Yeah, you know, we still t- we, t- we talked for a minute about yeah, that. Yeah, just about business and about how to build a business and how to develop a business and what were your what did you feel about him? He just felt he just felt like a real genuine person. Yeah, he and he wasn't scared to just critique. Not not only critique, but just tell me not what I needed to hear. That's what that's what or I think. Tell me what I needed to hear, not what I wanted to hear. Yeah, he's a real dude, man. And if you know, most of everybody knows George. And the one thing about George is not only is he a real person, he's a really hard worker and he brings out some really good fragrances. And you know, that's the one thing that people need to realize is as much as he's a good person, he brings out good fragrances. And and that's the most important thing for us as a fragrance community is to realize not that only George is a nice guy, but yeah. he's got some good damn juice. Yeah, I mean, you got talent, you got talent. You got talent, you got talent, man. He's a really hard worker. So today, Future Journey had, I think you smelled. I don't think I've smelled any of them. I think you have. I think you I smelled one I don't one or two. But we were going to kind of go over an overview of the three fragrances from the line and see which one that he likes the most, seeing that he's kind of new to fragrances. So I thought it'd be interesting to get his take on which one he likes the most, second, third, and his just to- whole overview of the fragrance line. And we'll be doing that with Mel Facini. We're going to do that with the Board the Calls I got. Uh, we're going to be doing that with Motifo Factor, my brother, Mr. Oz, Barreto. I mean, we're we going to be doing note battles. <laughs> we're going to be doing cardamom battles. We're going to be doing ooh battles. We're going to be doing all kind of crazy. Whole stuff. lot of content. Whole lot of content. So. We're going to go over these fragrances right quick. Which one you want to start with? We're going to start off with Signature Pour Home. Oh, you want to start off with the original. What are the no, notes that's, on that? That's not the original. Well, not the original, but... That's the, the remake. The, the remake of... The updated original. The updated original. Yeah. What are the notes on them? So we got lavender, myrrh, incense, oh, agarwood, sandalwood, cypress, patchouli, black pepper, vanilla... Bulgarian rose, jasmine, and vetiver. I'm excited to smell this. And I know somebody in the comment section gonna say, "Why are y'all not spraying this on skin?" We just did a video, and Future Journey has on like six fragrances already. <laughs> and he's about to go out, and he doesn't want to smell like 800 fragrances. So we're gonna go on these blotters. Uh, I know that's not the best way to kind of smell a fragrance, and you found that out in the last video. But yeah. He sure. found that in the last video. <laughs> but we're still going to go with the blotters on these and then just go from there. Mm-hmm. I'm excited. That one is like an original, man. That's a, oh, I want to see how this black pepper hits. Oh, it's slapping. It's slapping. Yo, this is this is right up there with YSL. That's definitely up there. That's like a brick. That's something that you can wear to the office and just be stunning with your suit on, you fly. Yeah, nobody's gonna be. Somebody's gonna tell you that you smell good. Oh right yeah, there. no doubt about it. It's no doubt about it. Patchouli, patchouli rose, lavender, a little bit of ooh. It it all goes together. I like that one a lot. That's that one. That one's really. That's a great like. I I would wear that. I I would wear that mm. as like an everyday driver. That is definitely like a classic, fougere, man. That's a masculine, but still masculine. Yeah. It's masculine, but it's it's nice. That's nice. Man, that, that joint right there. That joint right there is popping. Which one you want to go with next? So you uh, smell that one. Let's go. Which one you want to go with next? Uh, signature Noir. This joint right here is good, too. I ain't going to lie to you. Let me show you the bottle. And it, He's got these metal caps on here. The bottles, man. The price on these. That's the crazy thing, man. You see these uh, niche fragrance lines and different fragrance line even designers and they charge them two three hundred dollars a bottle man the price that george gives out for these fragrances is insane how much are they i think this bottle right here was like 95 that's not bad and that's i think it was 95 or 110 i'm sorry i can't tell you which one but it wasn't 200 well if if it wasn't even 150 if that signature for home was like 95 like a hundred dollars for a bottle like that 
and a, and a fragrance like that, I that's a decent deal. But I do think the signature pour home came in a bigger bottle. These mm. only came in, I think this is like a 60 mil, I think. I think these only came in that mil. But mm. that's still a good price, man. That's not bad, yeah. considering oh, man, this one right here is some good. of those smaller bottles are like 300. I just bundle spray on the blotter. <laughs> Bundle spray on the blotter. <laughs> you gonna spray it? Spray it off? Oh man! Oh, you know that joint's mm, popping. That's that's very. What are the notes on that? Did you go over the notes? I'm, I'm about to go over the notes. Now. That's very cologne. If that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> it's <a> very cologne. <laughs> it smells like cologne. Like a lot of the other fragrances smell like more like niche fragrances, but that smells like cologne. I don't but know. on skin, I'm telling you, it's different. Maybe it's just. I'm going on skin. I'm going on skin. Let's go. Mm. Okay. Uh, oh, man. That, let's go dude, that's good, man. I'm telling you. Can I smell it on your skin? And See, it's going to change. Yeah, I, I, I guess I can't really smell it right now because I'm still getting a lot of the alcohol. But, Once um, it develops, oh, my God. So, for the top notes, we got basil, mandarin orange, oh, coriander, pink good. pepper, I like bergamot. That. And for the middle notes, we got freesia, cypress, ginger, anise, bal balsam, fir, Virginia cedar, and then at the base, we got myrrh. Australian sandalwood. <laughs> I just like saying myrrh. Uh, myrrh. Myrrh. Australian sandalwood. Uh, Olibanum. Olibanum, tonka bean, and agarwood. Just say oot. I like agarwood. You do? Makes it... See on skin when it first develops, it it has some of the traits of this. Yeah. When it first develops, it has some of the traits of this, and then it completely changes. I, I was gonna say that it kind of smells like. It kind of smells like that. Mm -hmm. Oh man, I, I dude, I like that. Oh, that's kind of different. It changes on skin. I'm telling you, man. Hmm. I don't know what that is. What do you mean? I can't put my nose on like any any note. You can't? Mm -hmm. I get like some mandarin orange. I get some ginger. I get some spices, some woods. Maybe the wood and orange, but... See, it's different from that blotter. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I guess it all just coalesces really well. Mm. Okay. It, it, it's, it's a... A full fragrance, if that makes sense. Oh, definitely. It's, de it's definitely complex. Mm -hmm. It starts off one way, and then it fish finishes, to me, totally different. It starts off with that almost sig um, signature pour on type vibe, but then, like a fougere, like a male fougere, but then it starts to get a little bit of woody, a little bit resinous. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good, man. That's good. Mm -hmm. And then this one is totally different. The yeah. last one we're gonna talk about. All right. So switch. This last one is Signature Royale. So we're gonna go into those notes immediately. We got at the top we got Guatemalan cardamom, juniper, apple, citruses. In the middle we got lavender, pimento leaf, and magnolia. And then finally at the base we got musk, Indonesian patchouli leaf, cashmere oh, wood, God, amber, this vanilla. Is my Australian sandalwood, suede, <laughs> cedarwood, or cedar and agarwood. I'm, I'm just looking at these notes. At these notes, I'm, I feel like I'm gonna like this. Oh my god! We went full bundle on the blotter, but see, it's hard to see. I'm gonna spray it on skin, cause it's, it's not gonna be the same on the blotter. See off top, man. Oh. Off top, you got spices. That's definitely spicy. You got that pimento leaf. Apple. That's patchouli leaf. Oh, no, no. You get that creamy pimento leaf. Yes, you do. A little bit of wood. You don't get the hints of the apple? A little bit of apple and citrus. Oh, that's good. Dude. I like the lavender. But then when it dries down, it becomes this like suede, woody, agarwood, vanilla cat. Man, it's just... That joint is crazy. This man. definitely like I, I picture a crown. Oh, definitely. And I, I guess that's that's an, an, an ode to the bottle since it's kind of like a, a 
it's kind of gold, kind of in the in the top. Oh, it's kind of like a crown. Oh. What? That's on both sides. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm retarded. Oh, excuse I me. I didn't mean it. I didn't even know. No, I'm a little bit slow. <laughs> but, no, I... I can get behind that. It's different from those two. It's... it's it, it reminds Off the me, top is the most different. It's more niche. It's definitely more niche. Yeah. You you turned me kind of... You turned me to the niche But side. see, now, get that. Ooh. That don't that see that doesn't smell the same. No, that like, does not smell like it smelled. That noir does not smell like it smelled when you first sprayed it. Mm -mm. It came off a little bit harsh, fougere, aromatic type vibe. Now mm -hmm. it's more like a. It's more woody. Yeah, and wh wh where'd you spray the Royale? Right there, that Royale man. Oh. Mm. That's a beast. That's probably my favorite. Royale's your favorite? Probably so. I have created a niche snob <laughs> in like five videos, in like four videos. He's like a niche snob now. He wants the niche smell. Oh my God, I'm in trouble. I'm about to put a lock on the well, door. No, 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 no. You just got, I, I just got all that, that YSL. Oh, That's dude. not really niche. I gave him a, what, what size bottle? Like a, 250 mil bottle of YSL. The. Uh, I don't even know. What's, what's the, I've just been saving it it's, for him. It's the, it's the dark bottle. It's a. Uh, I don't know what it's called. Uh, Loam. Uh, damn, I don't even know. That's how you know that I don't keep up with it. Uh, yeah, it's Jeremy Fragrance's favorite fragrance of all time. Oh, it's La Nuit de Lome. La Nuit de Lome. I gave him a full, I think it may be 150 mil or 250 mil. It's the big bottle. I gave mm. him the big bottle of that. Never sprayed it one time. I don't even think I reviewed that. Okay. I, I really like that fragrance. Yeah. I, li yeah. I like all of those fragrances. I like YSL, uh, La Nuit de Lome. Um We're not doing no designer bottles on it. You know that, right? But if the people want to let, do y'all want to see designer bottles? No, nah, they don't. Yes, they do. No, my channel. We'll, we'll see what the comments say. They but, better not say they want to see. No, I'm just playing. But, all right. I'll do a designer battle. That'll be cool. I have nothing against designer fragrances, to be honest. Cap. That's that's cap. That's not cap. What are you wearing right now? Like 700 <laughs> fragrances. No, you're wearing a cap. <laughs> oh, I'm wearing a cap. So, I am capping. No, I'm not capping, bro. Uh, all right. So, how would you rank those Zahara fragrances? My favorite is Signature Royale. The next one up will probably be. My next one up will probably be Noir. And then I will go with uh, Signature or Poirot as the last one. That's probably how it will go. Mm. What do you rank? I think if I was in a store and I had to pick one. And I what did, store? If I, you were in a niche store, what would you pick? Or if you were in Macy's? Well, in, if in you were Macy's, Ma the Royale is not going to be in there. <laughs> <laughs> it's just not gonna be in there. So which one would you pick if you were not in Macy's? Okay, just you was in just a blank store. They had niche and designer fragrances. Do I have any fragrances at all? If I have no you're, fragrances, you're who I, you are now. I'm choosing the Royale. Wow. But if I didn't have any fragrances at all, and I like this was an emergency, I needed something. I would definitely get the signature plum. That's that's my because, number two because it's easy. It, it's easy. Not only is it easy, it's it's that's consistent, and I know what I'm gonna get from it. I know it's gonna be consistent. What I like is in a daily driver. I can see that. That's different. The one thing about Royale, though, I feel like this can be a daily driver. I feel like it's too too special. You think so? Mm -hmm. Find that joint. It just like gets creamier and creamier and creamier. Oh wow, yeah, that, that is that is super creamy. So you you've got Royale, signature pour home, and then Noir. Yeah, wow. But it's between Noir and pour home is is close. Yeah, no, Stars pour home wins. Wow, Noir. Can you see how it's getting more woody though? Yeah, I can see how it's getting more woody, but I don't I don't think that. I don't think that is what appeals to me. Okay. Yeah. I, I can see how I can see how people like it though. I see that. So that's just a quick video on the house of Zaharov. 
We gave you Future Journeys, top three fragrances, and my top three fragrances from the line. Which ones we like in which order? A little bit different. Those are the only three fragrances. <laughs> well, no, there are more fragrances. Oh. You got to think you've got the poor film and the other one. Oh, yeah. And then the old, then the yeah, stuff, then the old see, stuff. See, he's got I more fragrances. Got see, he thought I was slipping. I am getting old, but I'm not slipping <laughs> like that. But if you can, like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. If you woke up today, you're definitely winning. Uh, I ain't got nothing else to say except have a great day. And, and if, uh, you know. You, oh, yeah. If you woke up today, you're definitely winning. And you want to say that, you know. If you want more content and what you want to see. Oh, yeah. Let us know what you want to see. Talk to us. Communicate. That's definitely. how we can get you what you what you want. Definitely. Definitely. Again, if you woke up today, you're definitely winning. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And we out. Peace. Deuces. You got to do your wink. <laughs> <laughs>